Hello, and welcome to Click. So I have never been cartoonalized before. I know that's not a word, but I just made it up. So bear with me. But yeah, that was supposed to be me on that video. And it's kind of wishful thinking because I didn't have the opportunity to have a click in my life. And I didn't have the chance to have Cultivator Con in my life. But you are so blessed and so lucky because you do. And I'm going to tell you all about what Click is. What is Click? Click is a standalone event that is brought to a company by an employee. And it's any size company where people share unique ideas and they get mentorship and they get suggestions and they get people who are going to help them and they get feedback and hopefully possibly really hopefully their ideas are very good and they seem to have value they will get buy-in for those ideas now i had lots of ideas and i did stuff with that but i didn't have a click and if you've been around the cultivator community for any length of time before now, you might be familiar with the word change-a-thon because that's what Click was, but the 2023 change-a-thon is now Click. So welcome to the new and improved, if I might say so, change-a-thon, which is now Click. So we know that there are lots of platforms out there where people share ideas. And all of those are great. We know about TEDx. I've, I've known about TEDx for a while. Uh, some that I didn't know about, like One Million Cups and Startup Weekend and 48 Hour Film Project. Those are all great places, great platforms for people to share their ideas, not knocking those at all. But what happens when they share their idea? Sometimes it's not, it's not enough because they just share and then that's it. So what happens with Click is a little bit different. So it's a platform and a license model. You get a license. You will fill out an application to be able to run a Click event at your company. And again, the size of your company doesn't matter. The level where you are in that company doesn't matter. Click is for everyone. It is an interactive interactive experience where someone will get on a stage and you will bring this program to your company where people get on the stage and actually share their ideas. That's number one. Number two is that they get suggestions about their ideas. They get feedback about their ideas. They get clear, specific actions on how to make their idea real. And last, they get input from people in the audience to, to know how to share their idea and to know how to help them with that idea. Because we know that ideas need help. They're great if they're just put out there, but what happens then? Well, Click has the answer for that. And the last thing, which is so important, is that this is free. You will get all of this information. You'll get a facilitator guide. You'll get the way to do this. And it's not going to cost the company anything. It's not going to cost you anything. You can take this back to your company with the methods and the guide to do it. And it's free. And you get to be the one who leads it at your company. Now, I can stand here and talk to you about it all day, but I'm not going to do that. I have something better. I have an actual mini click event that we're going to run for you right now. And my co-conspirator, I stole that term from earlier, is Molly Shunny. And I'm so excited. But I want you to do something with me with Molly. OK, Molly, as you see, works for The New York Times. And guess what? Now, so do you. And so do I. We all work for the New York Times right now because we, I'm the moderator who has brought Click to the New York Times. Molly is one of the people who's going to stand on a stage and have an idea. Normally it would be three. We don't have time for three. We have one and we have the best one, Molly. And you also work for the New York Times. If you see, I'm in my New York apartment. 
It's a high rise because I work for the New York Times. So you need to pretend with me. OK, pretend with me. You just got a promotion and you now work for The New York Times, just like Molly does. So Molly's going to have five minutes to share an idea with us. Then we're going to take five minutes in the chat to talk to Molly about what she should do next. And then we're going to take five minutes to talk to Molly about you as her new co-worker at The New York Times, what you can do what you can do to help her with this idea. So without further ado, I am going to present to you the wonderful Molly Shuni at everyone's first click event. Oh my gosh, Freddie, that was amazing. My heart rate is pumping, but I think it's because of you, not because of nerves, at least I'm telling myself that. Um, hello, everybody. I'm so thrilled to be here. Big thanks to Freddie and to the Cultivate team for having me. I'm going to dive right in so that I can cover everything in under five minutes. So I'll set the context a little bit since you guys are all new to my team. I want to start by asking you to think about a cross-functional relationship at work or any um, job you've had previously that is super important to you, your team, and your work. Without them, the execution of anything you're doing would be impossible. And at the same time, because of the nature of cross-functional work, this relationship can be sensitive. So whatever comes to mind for you with that, carry that with you as I share my idea. So in the context of my role at the New York Times, a well-known tension uh, exists between my team, media strategists, and marketers who are our partner team. And this is largely because we have different vantage points on the business. Media strategists are an enterprise team supporting all lines of business and marketers are organized by products such as cooking, wire cutter games, if you're familiar uh, with the New York Times suite. This tension is a good thing. It's actually a necessary thing. It encourages strategic thinking. It encourages thoughtful planning and decisions rooted in data and it results in fascinating work. So I don't wanna take that away. But at the same time, sometimes this tension boils over, which I'm sure some of, some of you can relate, especially at crucial times in the pe uh, planning periods. And it leaves folks, I think, on both teams uh, feeling undervalued and disempowered. And I know this because it comes up casually with my team, but also more form formally in feedback loops. Um, and so in other words, boiled down to one sentence, it can create an us versus them mentality. And that's where my idea comes in. So what is my idea? I want to pitch to my boss and ultimately my team, a Rolodex of thoughtful ways we can engage and build stronger relationships with our cross-functional partners, marketers in this case, both within and outside of campaign execution, which is when we work closely with them most. So a couple of ideas just to get the juices flowing, maybe proactively seek input and feedback from this team on strategic decisions instead of leaving them in the dark uh, be right before a project kickoff. Uh, maybe dedicate time more proactively to discuss their core uh, drivers and pain points, or maybe periodically join their team meetings or ask them to join ours. Things of this nature is where my mind's at right now. And so what I'm hoping this idea will change over time is a greater foundation of trust and respect between these partner teams. It won't eliminate debate or difference of opinion, those will need to continue to exist. But the environment in which this exists is much more empowering and safe. So um, some known challenges and blockers definitely didn't cover them all, but some to get us started. It may be challenging to convey the value of this exercise to my team. It seems a little fluffy, maybe to some people. I worry that the exercise might come off condescending, like we're trying to tell people how to build relationships with others. And there's a chance that this Rolodex comes off disingenuous um, because of that. And then also just simply you cannot force relationship building and you can't force what the outcome is. And so how do you make these ideas sort of with those challenges and blockers in mind? Um, so there you have it. Hopefully I'm under five. It's a very complex but human problem to solve and one that honestly I feel really energized about. So I'm very excited for whatever actionable feedback I can get from the group today. Um, thank you.
Great job, Molly. And I'm sure if we, we were all in person, you could hear us clapping because that is a great idea. And the spirit of your idea, wanting to work better with a group that you are having to work with anyway, but wanting to make it a better relationship, wanting to make, I love that, love that. That's Cultivator, right? That's what we do. And I already see in chat that people are giving you ideas here, but I really want them to Think about what Molly can do. What actions do you think Molly should take to achieve her idea? I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. Great job, Molly. You Thank nailed you, it. Thank you, I love working Your with you. Your energy is energizing me. <laughs> well, I just love working with you. It's just like... I get to work with you now at the New York Times. Anytime you want to come to my penthouse apartment, you can too. Just, just yeah, the backdrop is was such a great touch. Right? right. I give that credit to my hubby. That was his idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Am I missing? Uh, let's see. I want to go back because I saw ideas. Okay. Lego, serious play, self-promoting. I am certified. Okay, David, we see you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Lego, joining team meeting, the presenting in the meetings on current projects, asking for advice or help where possible. Also good. Let's see here. I love the idea of keeping the good tension while trying to mitigate the unhelpful forms of tension. Nice. To make it more team-owned. Use the HCD human centered design technique of Rose Thorn Bud to develop the idea cards on the Rolodex. Nice. Find the tribe to help you help you. And I'm sorry, I'm not telling who's given Christopher. That was great about the HCD. Krista, find the tribe to help you. Thank you. Jake Breeden, my favorite part is naming the issue, calling it out, using Rolodex language. Enlisting others in solving. Can you shine a light on early wins? Baby steps. Proof that it can work. The great Steve Gargiulo. Build a prototype of the Rolodex. Make it clear what it looks like. Consider even role playing the benefit of it. Kind of like this. Okay. Y'all, I, I see your nice comments to me. Thank you. But I'm trying to focus. I'm a New York Times employee now. Come Use the opener you use with us. You had great in it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What about something like a mini exchange program? Something that would invite folks from each team to swap roles for a day and then debrief what they learned with each other and the rest of their teams afterward. Wow. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Thank you, Christopher Bell. We have about one more minute. I would use a virtual Rolodex and keep the concept of Rolodex cards, even if just virtual. Keep the language makes it more real. I'm hoping that we can actually provide these to you, that we can capture these comments, hopefully. I was just about to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because they are so good. Y'all are great New York Times employees. Thank you so much. Articulate very clearly the problems to be solved by the Rolodex, directly linking the examples of what's in the Rolodex to the solution. Find a small group. That was Steve. This is Ashley. Find a small group to test the idea with, the pre with and present present the outcomes. Hit on the head your concerns, say directly, I don't want to be condescending. That's just from Steve and the other things you're afraid to help build empathy with. Co-design the Rolodex. Involve your humans in the design from David. Gretchen, articulate the burning platform. How has this hindered effective consumer engagement? Oh, wow. There's so many here. I thought we would get some, but <laughs> we're getting lots. And we I hope that we can. I believe that we'll be able to capture these for you so that you can take them back to uh, our job at the New York Times. Now, Fantastic. the next thing is you work with Molly. So what actions can you take to help Molly achieve her idea? What would you do as and, and at this point, you can be in whatever, because maybe you're an H, maybe you're the CEO. I don't know. Who are you? You work for the New York Times now. So you can take some ideas that you can do. And how would you help Molly with them? Let's see here. And you have about five minutes to tell me what you would do. 
field on the Y. Oh, and Sydney says she's got you. So I think we're going to be fine with those. Thank you, Sydney. Yes, thank you so much, Sydney. Sydney, Lisa, all of those behind the scenes that are just doing great things. Thank you all so much. Christopher says to be sure to involve the other team in the development process of the Rolodex. Mark Lucas. Hello, Mark. I like the idea of setting shared goals. Jake Breeden, go first. Be a guinea pig. Tara Solman, make and wear a Molly's Biggest Fan shirt. I think we should do that anyway. What? Tara, we Tara need that to approved, approved. We need that to happen. Test it in the meetings. I have that Molly isn't included in and bring feedback back to her. Wow. Nice. Test it in the meetings that you're not in and bring the feedback back to you. Leadership will want a return on investment on this process. We need to come up with a way to measure success using a numerical scale. This is from Christopher Kelly, that we can be brief, brilliant, and gone to help tell the story to leadership. Steve Gargiulo would be willing to help you build the prototype in any way. He's put his calendar. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Steve. What a great employee. Try to find common ground fast with C-suite and prioritize quick wins to win anything that to anything that needs budget. Find out can sponsor if it's high priority and high cost. Betty, help promote through participation. Great. Thank you. Kayla. Kayla, once you have buy-in with folks, they can talk it up via word of mouth with their team coworkers. Those second and third connections build a network of buy-in. So true. Set up a Teams channel and promote. I can set that up. Thank you, Christopher. We can hold her accountable by being accountable by being annoying and asking her in the cultivators community every two weeks for status updates. <laughs> love it. Love it. That word annoying has changed meaning a little bit. I mean, it's still what it is. Totally. It can be a good thing, right? Ashley, involve a leadership person slash, slash, slash sponsor that will help you take the idea upwards. You can probably hand out little cards to folks when you're together and give them a minute or two to generate an idea for the Rolodex at the end of each group meeting. This is Chris. So it could continue to build up and evolve over time. I think I and other members of the community would help you get started by creating an initial set of those cards. Wonderful. Gretchen, I would be willing to help facilitate a dream session where both teams articulate a shared vision. What good looks like with the Rolodex in action. Okay, we're going to all need these <laughs> because we all face groups that we work with that maybe things could be better with. So these are all such great ideas. Y'all are great employees, even if it's pretend. Thank you. We can try to create similar things in our organization to get feedback. Thank you, Steve. We could also help you test out some of the ideas. Tara, in Molly, the meetings where I can have where I have access, privilege, and she may not. Wow, I'm blown away. Mm, I'm gonna have this to have this is fantastic. Uh, this is fantastic. I'm gonna have to have like some New York thing to eat because I'm just I'm like <laughs> I, I need help right now. I don't even know what that would be, but hey, I'm, I'm gonna try. Okay, I think we are good. We have had wonderful. Our first click event has been. A, I call it a success. What do you think, Molly? Absolutely. Hands down. This is yes. fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for contributing and all of these ideas. I can't wait to uh, get them. And to Steve's point, I will need a little bit of nudging in the community. So feel free to be as annoying as necessary. I'm passionate about it, but I'm, you know, human. And <laughs> things get in the way sometimes of keeping these uh, ideas moving forward. Wow. So I, I love that because I think we do need those accountability partners when we have these ideas that we come up with. But it's also great when you're accountable and you're helping. So that's something to keep in mind for a click event. Yes, we need the accountability. Yes, cheesecake and pizza for everyone. I love that. That's all sounds very New York. But yes, we need that for, for us to we need the help. Ideas need help. What happens to ideas when they are not shared? Nothing. What happens when they are shared and nothing goes on from there? Nothing. What happens when ideas come to click? Everything. Okay. So this is the process for click and it's very simple. You decide that your group needs click. I don't decide, I don't know how you decide it doesn't need click because to me, 
This is a wonderful way to people to, for people to share in ideas and see those ideas actually realize. What a great way to do that, okay? You complete a click application. That's right, you. You who work for a big company, small company, medium-sized company. You who's the CEO or not the CEO or somewhere in the middle. That's right. That's you who completes a very simple application. You receive an approval. You complete a detailed orientation that gives you a facilitator guide. And then you have your first click event at your workplace. That's it. It's that simple. Thank you again, Molly, for being a great example of what Click is about and how it can work at any place of business, because this is what Click really is all about. All about. It's about giving the microphone to everyone, because we know that good ideas don't only come from a certain group of people. Good ideas come from everybody and that they're not always given the chance to share those ideas, much less have other people help them with those ideas. And I don't know who you are or where you work right now, but I can bet that you have people around you who have good ideas. And instead of those ideas just kind of flying around like the ones in the video, then those ideas can come out and be realized. And that's what Cultivate and Click is all about, because that's what we want. Now, if you have any questions, I think I have just a few minutes more. You do have a chance to either take the scan the QR code or just go to cultivateall.com slash click. There's an application there. There's terms and conditions there. Very simple things that you can do to have your own event. We'll have an orientation schedule. I will run that. I will be the one who's doing the orientation for click. If you choose to have an event, I would be so happy if you did. And I would be there to support you if you did and help you with what you needed. So I would just love it if you if you chose to do that, because I hate the idea that ideas are not getting the love and support they need. Some of mine didn't. Some of mine did. I had a co-conspirator. Her name was Jamie Walker. That was my last one at Alcon. But sometimes you don't have that person whose brain will click when they hear your good idea or sometimes you hear a good idea and you don't know what to do with it. This is your chance. This is the time to get a click event that's free. All the materials that you need free to have an event at your place of work. Bring good things to your company. You should feel that empowerment. And that's something that you can do with click because you know the ideas are there. Thank you all. I appreciate you all for even being here. New York thanks you. I thank you. Thank you, Molly. Thank you so much.